All right, guys, Anthony Johnson here today from 21 Studios, Married CPAC 2021. I have with me none other than Kevin Sorbo. He's internationally known around the world as an incredible actor and uh, director and author. You might know him best from your childhood as Hercules. <laughs> Kevin, I appreciate your time today coming out to CPAC. My pleasure. It's good to be here. I've been to a few of these before, and this, is, uh, this has been a busy one. Yeah. So my first question is, what's your basic stance and position on uh, masculinity and men in America today? Are they doing well? What's your basic position on that? You know, you know, it's interesting. This is not coming from me, okay? I lived in uh, Australia a couple years filming movies. I lived in New Zealand seven years filming Hercules. Wow. From the males down in Australia and New Zealand, they would ask me all the time, they go, hey, Mike, why are you American men all turning a bunch of wusses? Yeah. They're saying that to me, guys, and I'm not bringing up anything about what's going on in America because we're beating down men to be men. And that was years ago too. That was, was I, that was back in the '90s on Hercules. Wow. And I've shot, but you know, down in New, I mean, in Australia, I was there like 2005, 2010, 2015. I've shot movies down there. Yeah. And they're asking the same thing, and that's what we're doing right now. We're trying. We're trying to. It's it's weird. Men are men, women are women. Why, why are we getting so crazy about this this whole thing? You know, yeah. and why are we trying to try and tell men not to be men? This whole toxic masculinity thing they're going, yep. it's insane. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. It's totally crazy. You know, I mean, I, I don't I don't get it. I wish I could understand why we're doing what we're doing in this country right now. And it's, that's just not only that, with so many levels right now. A yeah. lot of it starts with our public edu school, uh, ed education system yeah. and the brainwashing and indoctrination of our kids and telling them different things about who they are and who they should be or who they could be and uh you know hate america and uh it's just crazy what we're doing so right you're now. concerned about the way young boys are being treated in school today like almost like defective girls or something like that in it's my just, opinion it's just weird i mean i i don't i don't get it why why we're doing this when i was in school and probably when you were in school as well i'm older yeah. than you are but teachers taught if they taught math they taught math they taught biology they taught biology history history there was not you should vote this way you shouldn't vote this way you shouldn't believe in god you should believe in god there was none of that stuff that was going on and, and boys then, were boys right boys were boys girls were girls yeah, yeah complicated um so next question you know you mentioned toxic masculinity so what's your basic position on feminism today has it gone too far or is it still a healthy movement i mean they, they seem to be very aggressive for example against men and fathers today toxic masculinity uh believe all women you know things like that well you look at black lives matter i mean they had they had their manifesto up for a long time they took it down now oh, yeah, it's not yeah. there anymore but they were number one. Want to take God away? They wanted to break up the nuclear family. That yep. it shouldn't be a husband. It shouldn't be a man and, and a woman raising a child. They want. They they they, they uh, compared women being pregnant to slavery. Wow. They admitted to being Marxist. They admitted to being communist. I mean, you look at that kind of. And why did they take it down after they? they I guess so many people attacked them yeah. for that, but they took it down. We already know what their belief system is. So it's a it's a weird world out here right now. I, I scratch my head all the time and go, you know, I. I don't, I don't harbor the anger for people that have opposite points of view than I do. And you look at people from the left that sit there, they scream for, they say, oh, we're all for about peace and love and look at you guys. We're not the Antifa, are you kidding me? They're not against fascism, they're for fascism. They just want unity. It's about, it's, it's, it's progressive. You know what, it's, it's called projection. Yeah. What they, what everything the left blames the right on, their left is already guilty of. Yeah. But they wanted to deflect it to you and I. And it's crazy that we're letting this happen right now. Apathy is the biggest killer in America right now, especially for people on the right. Because their attitude is, oh, what can we do? They own the television. They own the movies. They own the media. There's nothing we can do. Lose yeah, the dignity is. kind of yeah. attitude. Wake yeah. up and stop being afraid. I got banned from Facebook. They took me down. Wow. Took me down two weeks ago. 550,000 followers gone because I posted 
that the CDC, the CDC, this wasn't me, this was the Center for Disease Control, said that masks are useless. If you're gonna get the virus, you can get the virus. It's 75% smaller than the flu virus. And if the flu virus can go through your mask, so can this virus. Yep. It's crazy. On the same set of issues in America today, we see higher than ever fatherlessness and the rise of single motherhood, especially in the black community, but also in the white community and Hispanics. Sure. Are you concerned then about single motherhood and the rise of fatherlessness in our country? Well, you know, it really started back in 1964 when uh, LBJ um, said uh, the social welfare reform, the, w the welfare reform act mm -hmm. that said, if you're a single black mother, don't worry, we'll help you out. But with the little you know, star underneath it was, if you have a man in your life that living in the house, we will we'll cut your payout. Yeah. So it became, here we are three generations later where a lot of black women use it as a way to raise, keep them, have money. Yeah. And it's just sad. Yep. You'll have, they'll have five different kids from five different men if, by the time they're 26 years old to use it as a way to get government checks. And the black community had a much stronger unity of man and husband and wife in the white community back yep. in the 50s and 60s. Yep, I've heard this. Now yeah. it's over 80% because of that welfare reform act. It's crazy. It's become, we've taught the black community that it's okay to get a woman pregnant then walk away from it. And that's incredibly sad. And you see the offshoot of that with these kids yeah. becoming, you know, they're looking for family, looking for male figures. So you got 14 year old kids being groomed by 21 year old gang leaders. Yeah. They're going to look at this guy. He's paying attention to me. Well, and they're, they're blowing up, they're blowing up cop cars in the streets this yeah. past year. They're looking for hope, looking for self esteem. But all it comes, it's just anger perpetuating anger. And it's really sad. Yeah. A uh, separate question now on religion. Do you think Christianity and biblical masculinity are a good example for young American men today to learn how to be men? You're I a Christian, think, I believe, right? I, yeah, I'm a Christian. I think the Bible is a great place to go. We took that out of the schools back in 1964, too. And I think these are the seeds we're, we're, we're you know, sowing yeah. from uh, getting rid of God out of schools, getting rid of uh, um, fathers out of families. I mean, it's just sad what's going on right now. And all I can say is, guys, we need to talk. We need to have civil discussions about what's important in life, what's important to have good family relationship, what's good. Be, kids are looking for people to say no to them. Yeah, They're looking for reasons that people say no to them. And no is a positive word, not a negative one. They're looking for strength and masculinity yeah, in a father are. figure. Yeah, yeah, they are. I have an after school program in LA, LA for 24 years now. We're the number one after school program in the state of California. Wow. LA Unified has a 60, uh, or 50, 54% dropout rate. Mm. It's worse than Baltimore's. They're over 60%. Mm. But in the 23, 24, we're on our 24th year now, the average is a 54% dropout rate in LA Unified Schools. We work with these kids three hours every day after school. Mm. It's physical education, it's school, what are you having troubles with, and that's life. You're a 15 year old, you're pregnant, let's talk about it, okay? Yeah. Because of what we've been doing, kids three hours a day every day after school, we have a 98% graduation rate and a 67% higher GPA. What is my after school program? A world fit for kids, worldfitforkids.org. What are we doing that the schools can't do? We make things better for the kids than the schools do. And yet leaders and men like you are banned on Facebook for speaking the truth on related issues. Yeah, it's insane. They hate the truth. They hate people like me because I bring light into their darkness. They love the darkness. The lies love the darkness. They hate the truth. Yep. Last question, uh, have the feminists or SJWs or the lefties, have they come after you for Hercules being toxic masculinity? I mean, it seems very, what they would consider toxic masculinity. They probably would because they're insane. Um, not yet, but I'm sure they will. Okay. I'm sure they will. Uh, it was a show that uh, we touched on mythology. It's not religion, it's mythology. We had fun with it, but a lot of humor. The fight scenes were always done with a lot of humor in them. It's a very positive show too, right? It was a positive show. We all, we all said, look, I got letters I can prove from kids all around the world saying that my character made them realize they didn't have to fight mm. to have, make change in the world. You yeah. know, because on my show, it was fighting for Hercules was always the last last thing. Yeah. And I said, that's the way I'm gonna have to get out of this or help people, you know, get save a town. That's what I'll do. But it was a TV show that always had a good moral message in it. I yeah. thank the writers at Universal for doing that. All right, Kevin, thank you very much for your time today. I appreciate it big time. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys next time at 21 Studios. Peace out. Cool. That was awesome. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. Really is.